Don't let nobody push around with nobody who really cares. If you want friends, you really only need one, and that's at lunch. Until notes are found of what they're like, don't end up being a school thought. Because you're going to end up getting caught, and then you're going to end up having a bad reputation for yourself. <laughs> that's my sister. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome to another bank banger video. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Devin Malik Adams, but I put Devin Malik because I like my middle name better. So you probably clicked on this video because you want high school advice or you just going to high school or some sort. Or you just want to watch it because you wouldn't want to watch me at this point. Now I'm playing. So I wrote some stuff down in this book. So if you like see me like look down or some sort, it's just like um, to like reroute my memory of what I need to be talking about in this video. So the first thing is, I feel like everybody said this, but really be yourself. Be yourself. It's all right. It's not that deep. Be yourself. But for real, be yourself. Because at the end of the day, who are you really trying to impress? Nobody's truly going to care the effort you're trying to put in to impress them, truly. Again, just, just trying to get to the next grade and go, honestly. Not all with your lives. Like, nobody truly cares. It's not impress others. Impress yourself. Impress the Lord, honestly. Like, you'll get better results of just mental and just happiness in general if you impress yourself instead of others which comes to the next topic don't care what people say don't let people get you down because you're gonna be the youngest so like most likely other like higher class people like sophomores and seniors is gonna be ju like judging you and at their big fossil age like no for real let's talk about it at their big age you making fun of freshmen you're making fun of i'm like for what are you getting out of that also do everything do like all clubs, all sporting, because it'll get you out of the mindset of drugs, uh, weed, everything like of sorts, like bad. Just as like clarification, I'm only speaking from personal experience, so I'm not gonna tell you anything I haven't experienced. Like it's gonna be for real, for real, like real facts and everything. And I did a uh, basketball track and I joined leadership, which was the worst thing I've ever done. I'm probably never gonna join leadership again, but don't take my word for that. But if Peru had me occupied, so I didn't really get tempted to do stuff, or I had my mind off of school just to do some drugs or something. Next, stay out of drama. Like Peru, stay, stay out of drama because what they're gonna do is probably make a name for yourself that you either make drama or you like to spread around drama and you don't want that for your reputation because if you do that especially for your freshman year that's probably gonna be your nickname at this point nickname for the whole year people gonna remember you as the person that start or make or spread drama i gotta hurry up because i have like an appointment i know i'm pretty sure everybody says this, and i'm pretty sure it's like the obvious point of what to do in high school for real good grades like really do good your freshman year because it's probably gonna be real hard to make up your gpa especially if you have the mindset of like flunking this year and you're gonna like try to get better the whole rest of the years that's gonna be real hard you're gonna have to really like grind grind in conclusion get good grades honestly this should be just not even uh high school advice but just like life in general be nice to everyone be nice to everyone because at the end of the day you don't know who you might need or run into could get you out of stuff give you opportunities like you don't know but like just in general be nice to everyone brings me on another topic don't be too nice to the point that people can push you around don't let nobody push you around because once you let somebody push you around one time they're gonna have the mindset that you're weak and they can just do it anytime that's where bullying comes in and depression stress everything because at this point you let somebody push on you too many times to the point that you just keep letting it happen so stay your ground next up don't let anybody honestly not even just like friends don't let anybody pressure you to do anything that you don't want to do and again i'm only speaking from experience because i almost got pressure to do something i didn't want to do but i actually all the aggressive guy got out of that situation but yeah do do you don't do anything that you don't want to do if you want to do like drugs and everything i that's you i don't judge i'm just saying i wouldn't and i don't promote it but if you want to do that who am i to judge this is also real important make your teacher your best friend because they are the people that's truly gonna they're, they're the ones who's giving you a grade they're the ones who can fail you or pass you. not really can like honestly affect your life at this point but i personally struggle with not doing my work and putting it off for the next day 
And with that being said, all my work just kept stacking up, stacking up. So I advise you to like do your work right then and there or like when you can, try not to put it off for the next day or the next week because you're gonna keep having that mindset and keep pushing off work for the next day and the next day and it's just gonna keep stacking and st stacking and you're probably not gonna get all the work done in time. This is for guys and girls. Truly don't try to be a player. Don't try to bag every girl that just, that you think is pretty, that you think is bad, because you're gonna end up getting caught and then you're gonna end up having a bad reputation for yourself and then nobody gonna want you. This is for girls as well. Don't try to like, don't try to like like every boy and try to bag every boy because you think you're the baddest in a school because you don't end up being a school thot. Oh, just, be, ju just being honest, for real, for real. Talking to some of my cousins, to be honest, because I promise you, they think they all that. They think they can truly bag their whole class and more. But I promise you, if I show you a picture of them, they're, let me, let me go ahead, let me go ahead. This is an opinion only. I think dating is overrated, especially during high school, only because if you date, you're probably gonna be focused more on that relationship. And if, I mean, as you should be during a relationship, because I think that's important. But because you have to actually go to high school and actually pass, and it gets harder every grade you go up and it's hard to maintain grades and all that stuff it comes with it's hard to do both it's hard to focus on relationship and school at the same time unless you like smart unless you real brain smart then i sh i i think you should go on a relationship especially if you're smart and depressed yeah you need that's that's probably gonna solve your problem if you're a freshman i feel like you have logic sense to not date somebody that's 17 18 and you're only 14, 15, maybe 13. I feel like that's something you, your parents are supposed to teach you or just in general. I'm not really gonna explain that. Be okay with being alone. Also be okay with enjoying your own company because friends come and go. Sometimes friends won't be there for you or you won't have friends. So you have to be, you have to be alone and you have to be okay with that because that might happen very often unless you know you have a best friend or a friend group that's truly reliable. Don't rely on other people for your happiness, which is the, saying the same thing of what I just explained. If you do make new friends, note stuff down. Not like, like literally note stuff down, but like mentally note stuff down of what they're like because that can come in handy. My cousin told me this, and this really is true. You don't really need friends, but if you want friends, you really only need one, and that's at lunch, because lunch is really the only time you really get to yourself to do anything you want. And if you don't like to be alone, then you should make at least one friend that hang around like every time at lunch, because the rest of the day at school, you really don't need anybody because you should be in class. Like, pick classes that you like or you can live with. Like, I get, um, I have to take two languages and two electives. So I took Spanish my first year. Sophomore year will be my last year. This will be my last year. And I promise you, if you don't know how to speak it, it is hard to learn another language. So I would say get that out the way already the first two years. And then for your elective life, you end up like picking a class that you think you might like. Make sure it's like a class that you don't end up liking it. You still can like live with it so you don't be miserable the whole year that you have that one class, if that makes sense. And the last thing I gotta say is don't stress Honestly, don't stress because school is really not that personal. It, it's not that deep. It's not, it's not, I just want to say, keep your mental right. Don't stress because literally my freshman year, I, hey, 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 don't tell nobody this, but for I really used the resources that I had, honestly. I use freaking Quizlet, Google, Google Translator. Like it's another website to, called Brainstorm or something like that. And then PhotoMath, like I use all those apps. And it's crazy how some of y'all failed during quarantine. Y'all was literally in the bed on a computer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe that's it. So thank y'all for watching. And at this point, honestly, I think you should subscribe. You should just subscribe at this point because you're probably going to need more advice or at this point, more entertainment when you're bored. And I, and I got you. At this point, subscribe, like, and whatever entertainment you want to see, comment down below so I can do it for you. Yeah. And I'm gonna leave you with this quote. I got y'all, I got y'all, I got y'all. All right. Bye. Peace, y'all. Jessica the Coolest. I'm Jessica the Coolest. Peace, y'all.